Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight Chronicles. Alright, we made it to Albana last time, so let's take a look at the errands that we have uh, to complete here. Alright, so that's Parma. We got it. Right, so we got Lucilla. We've seen her wandering around the uh, save point here for a bit. We got the Toad Guard as well. And we got Pedro. Hey, Pedro's uh, companion outside the... Uh, the Don's estate there. And with this one, that's in, and then that's Gil. Yeah, we'll do that one last one. Alright, let's go talk to Padra since uh, we helped out his friend earlier. So I'd say did us a solid. So, yeah. How's it going, Padra? Oh, you lot there. Give me a second there, eh, mate? Padre here has got a wee snake of a problem, and of course it'll come, all come back round to Anura. She's forgiven the Don for his fling with Veruca, but it ain't like she's letting him off the hook. Making all fibs a nervous wreck it is, and a nervous Don's a bad for everyone, isn't it? So what he wants to do is find a sort of compensation for what he could give the, to the old lady. Fib's been racking it at the brain for a gift, but he's come up squat. So then I think maybe the Tangerine down at the jewelry shop can help. The blokes can nip down and see if she has any ideas. I'll pay you for the trouble, I will. Oh, sure, why not? Alright. There's Tangerine. Oh dear, you're looking for something that Anora would enjoy? She's got some pretty flashy taste in fashion, that one. Borderline vulgar, if you want my true opinion. Oh, please don't tell me when I said that. Her will have my knees broke if she hears. <laughs> you know, she already has all the stones she needs. I'm thinking a more unusual material might work best. There's an insect that gets used in jewelry sometimes. The crown jewel something. I forget what it's called exactly, but try racking one down, tracking down one of those. I'm sure Padre will be pleased with the result. All right, let's see what the errand says. A crown jewel something, eh? The boss's wife. Uh, so we got Tangerine's Vice, we'll get a crown jewel bug and deliver it to Padro. So yeah, another uh, insect, if you will, or material I forgot to include on the the, the checklist, but I do believe we've got plenty of them, so let's see. Crown jewel bug. Uh, not there. There we go, crown jewel bug right below the stink bugs. <laughs> so yeah, we've got 23 of those. Alright, got one of those, so let's go see town. if it... Might help help out. See if Padro's interested. Hey, Padro. Got something you might be interested in. Oh, you there. Get crabbing with finding the gift and whatnot. Let's give him the jewel bug. Oh, what's this then? Crown jewel bug. Oh, you're pretty interested in this. Might be just the ticket Anora's looking for. Here, give me a sec. I'm going to scatter off to the dawn and see what the lady thinks. Right, Anora loves it. Pleases Punch, she is. Reckon Fibs will sleep a little easier now, eh? Can't believe how much Anora liked that bug. Gobbled it up in one bite, she did. <laughs> we owe you a lot for this one, we do. So here, how's about you take this rare herb and we'll cause it aces. And don't forget to use Fibonacci and Co. for all your so fit binding needs. And for that, he gives us an aromatic herb. Is this a an actual herb, or is it just... Yeah, it looks like it's just a, another component. Aromatic herb, where are you? Oh, right there. Medicinal, medicinal herb with a nice fragrance. How nice. Alright, that's another one out. And I think they said the Toad Guard was in need of some assistance. Looks like we got something going on in the uh, mansion here, so let's see if uh, we can get anything out of them. How's it going? Get anything? Oi, hold on. You can't go past here. This here is the important persons and the like. Or four important persons and the like. Core blimey, I'm getting tired of shooting off my mouth about that. Stand here, they says. Watch them close, they says. Ain't had a proper holiday since I was a tadpole. I just wants to nip off to the pub with me mates. Ain't nothing wrong with that, eh? Here, how's about you step to and see what Crozo and Croaca Crocanus have to say about that? We can get a group together, all union-like. Hey, start stirring the pot and all. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Nothing quicker to get a uh, boss's attention to say the word union, but yeah. All right, so it's like, who are we talking to first? We're talking to Crozo. Does the uh, travel log say anything about exactly who to talk to, or does it just say both of them? Toad Holiday. Okay, start with Crozo. All right. How's it going, Crozo? Hey, it's a fair cup, isn't it? Sure, it's nice and moist inside this here mansion, all comfy like, yeah. But greasy pies, that don't mean a bloke's got to work around the clock. It's Crocanus. So I'll tell you the same, quick as you please. All right, and where's uh, Crocanus? Looks like he might be on the other side there. Living out here is an art in itself. Snuggers ain't that more than half right, what Crozo said. I'd practically twist me flippers for a day off for something. Even me warts could use a holiday. And I'll tell you what would get me right chuffed. Some of that fried vespid what they make in Albana core blood, that's good. Yeah. So what's next? Oh. The uh travel I say. I saw the uh uh is craving a holiday, so is Crozo. And to regard I'd love to hear that he's not the only one that could use a holiday. <laughs> I guess he can't leave his post, so yeah, I guess we're the go-between for now. Merchants are the same wherever See, I knew the other toads would be all like-minded. Bunch of chumps who could take this place over with a, with a spoon. Right things going. If we're gonna have a sit-down with the Don, we got to get some food in the old belly. Popson's eaten in so long, I forgot what it's like. Ugh. I hear, heard me about some hunter that's been bagging vespids like nobody's business. Batista is what they call him. Gods, if I could track him down, I'd pay every guilder I got for one of them bug shells. You find the bloke, tell him I tell him we need help, something fierce. Alright, looking for uh Batista. Where could he be? Oh, looks like we got a couple of exclamation points down here. Let's go check him out. There's Lucilla. I've seen her for a while now. Hey Batista. Seek bug shells, yes, no deal. You come too late. My bugs, I sold them to Faraday. Every last one. Just missed them, I guess. Wish to make bugs too? Talk to her. <laughs> Faraday. Wow. Well, at least you're standing in the in the uh, shade here. What's that? You want to buy my bug shells? Well, I suppose we can part with part with them, but why on earth do you want them? Oh, it's a snack for the toads, is it? Well then, how about I? Just cook you up a nice batch of brown bugs instead. This is an old specialty of mine. Oh, those toads won't know what hit them. <laughs> I hope that's a good laughter. La la la, and a pitch of this and a dash of that. Bon appetit. One fried Vespa dinner. Mm, you can still smell the carapace. Off you go then, and be quick about it, or you'll have every toad in town following you with their tongues dragging on the ground. <laughs> Alright, sounds like we got something for the toads, so let's go bring it back to them. There you go. Here now, hold on. What's it I'm spelling? It can't be. It won't be. Oh, it is! You went and got to be a batch of fried vespid, you did. I ain't smelled something that good since I left me mom's lily pad. This here's gonna be sweet. You done us good turn, mate. Best of luck in the wilds. And for that, we get 20,000 guild points. If only you could see what our guild rank is at now. <laughs> I took a lick at, at the end of last episode, so yeah. All right, so that's another errand under the under our belt. Let's see what else we got. So we got Lucilla and then uh, Gil, I believe it was. Uh, that's Parma. Okay, so we got Toad Holiday. So yeah, there's Lucilla. And then, uh, yeah, that's Greed down there. And then Gil. All right, let's go talk to Lucilla and uh, see what she's been so, oh so patient with. Yeah, 
this rate, we could end up talking to Gil this episode. Where'd she go? It's nice to be able to get uh, more than two errands done in a video for once. How's it going, Lucilla? Um, excuse me, you have connections with, the, with Don Fibonacci, right? Tell me, what kind of toad is he? I mean, deep down, once you pass the bluster and criminal activity and all that. You haven't spent enough time with them to know? Oh, I, I see. Well, then, could I ask you a favor? I need to find someone who knows Fibonacci and inside and out. You might start with Dagmar. I've heard she and the Don are quite close. Another name I'm quite familiar with. Not just from this game. It's also related to the name Lyriel here. And Fyodor there. <laughs> uh, anybody that knows where I got these names from probably has a good idea of the name Dagmar as well. So, oh, there she is. Huh, you want to know what Fibonacci's like? And you heard that curiosity killed him at Megalotigris? But if you're mowing for the noose, I won't be the one to stop you. Don Fibonacci is Albana itself. He's the living, breathing personification of this city. He's got a webbed foot in every pie, and he likes it that way. And he's light and shadow. The yin and yeah, the yang. If you ask me, that makes him more quali more than qualified. More qualified than anybody to run this dump. At least the right hand knows what the left is up to. What, you want more? What am I, a toady? A stool? A pigeon? A stooge? Look, I know Lucilla sent you here, and in good honor for it. But I ain't telling you to squat more than that. So blow. Okay, <laughs> that do. Indeed, Yuli, indeed. Let's see, go find Lucilla again. Looks like we just missed her. Lucilla! Oh, come on, yin and yang, light and dark. I knew that stuff already. I need to know what drives him. What's his passion? What makes him hop out of the bed in the morning, day after day? Oh, wait, why don't you ask Samir, or Samir and the other girls by the well? They're always full of juicy rumors. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Getting an idea what this is for, but there they are. Samir, Cyril, and Nafia, I guess. So, Samir. Looking for rumors about Don Fibonacci, sweet, sweetie. There aren't any toadies or toads around, are there? No? Okay, good. Now listen close. Apparently, the Don falls in love at the, at the drop of a hat. Poor Frog just can't help himself. My friend says that he married his wife, Anur, a week after he met her. Can you even imagine? It's like love is a disease or something with him. Isn't that right, Cyril? Let's talk to Cyril. Hear her out. Well, you said it, Samir. I heard that he started quite quite the row recently. Folks say he's fallen in, fallen for Veruca. Can you believe it? She's a giant to toad, see? Same as the Don, so I guess that's what helped the love catch fire. I even heard that he hired some dumb adventurer to bring her a love letter. I can't imagine how that... Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure how that all turned out. Did you hear anything, Nafia? Well, enough, yeah. How's it going, Horace? <laughs> oh, tongues wagged, they did, but no one knows for sure if the letter got there or not. But what I do know is that Nadora found out about it, and she and the Don had about the biggest set to you've ever seen. The Don might be the biggest power broker in Albana, but around that lady, he's just another toad on a log. <laughs> yeah. And some air. We can just be. <laughs> I'll leave you to it there. All right, so it sounds like we might have got to the end of that little bit there. The Hidden Dawn. There, so let's go tell Lucilla of all the uh, the juicy tidbits we got for her. Hopefully there aren't any uh, sinister intentions with this information. Might lose our binding permit. Especially if he ever finds out. Oh my gosh, really? Really? I didn't think he could be so, I don't know, normal? I'm just really surprised. Thanks so much, I think I'm starting to get a better portrait of him now. Be sure to let you know if I need anything else. 17,500 guild points. And you see another reason why I didn't do this one back when we had access to it for the first time. So yeah. Wow, we do have time to start the next one. So it just sounds like Lucilla might be like penning like a, a biography or something like that. Yeah. The way, 
the, that's the vibe I was getting from her, so. All right, well, there's only one more exclamation point in here, so let's go talk to Gil. There he is. Gil and Avina. Hmm? If I'm not mistaken, I'd peg you as adventurers. Spare a moment to hear my troubles, will you? It's about my partner, Ravina. She's been obsessed with magic recently. Research lately. The magic itself isn't the issue, mind. We often use the spells while hunting. It's just that her devotion seems a little unhealthy. She thinks of nothing else but magic, magic, magic. It unnerves me. If you haven't free, if you have a free minute or two, would you mind checking on Avina? I'd appreciate it. Now right, let's see if uh, she can. Uh, we can be uh, a bit more of a third party, a third ear. So, that, as it were. Gil sent you to have a chat with me, right? Well, I won't deny what he said. Magical research is the most important thing to me right now. I was just so frustrated the great ancient civilizations fell 10,000 years ago. And all that time, we still haven't caught up with the ancient Yashrinians. We're nowhere near the wonders they managed to attain. 100 centuries later, and we still can't measure up to people of the distant past. It aggravates me to no end, I tell you. Okay. I knew it. She's utterly obsessed. I can sympathize with her frustration, but Avina is alone in her obsession. Her other mages are in the same boat. As, lucky, as luck would have it, a renowned mage already lives here in Albana. Her name's Octavia. She's quite devout. Please seek her out and hear what she has to say. All right, where's Octavia? Uh, Octavia is up at the east gate. All right. It's one of those tracks that's like, is it quicker to go through here or go through the back alley? And I figured, well, there's less corners to turn here, so I figured I'll just take this one. Alright, where's Octavia? Just saw Timothy there. Anyways, Octavia. Sorry to interrupt. Too much of anything can be dangerous, especially when it comes to the studies of our studies of the arcane. Indeed, if it's developed unchecked, magic has the power to destroy entire nations. Studying the ancients is well and good, but recreating their magic is another matter. Such experience, experiments could harbor many. Roche, the peddler, knows these dangers firsthand. You'd seek it. Should seek him out. This would be easier without right, Roche. Oh, looks like they got an exclamation point outside the mansion there. So let's go take a look. Excuse me, Timothy. <laughs> Alright, there's Roche out here. There he is. Let's go to the other side. A little easier to pick him out of the crowd. Are magic experiments dangerous? Do scorpions crap in the desert? Can't say that I know. <laughs> Look, I'm no magician, but I do have a little experience with magic. Bad magic. I once had a job escorting this mage, see? This Elvina girl sounds a lot like him. This brainiac decided he just had to conduct an experiment on, experiment on the road. To this day, I have no idea what he was thinking. It ended in failure, of course. Even worse, the effects rubbed off on me. It was supposed to be an enchantment spell, but it ended up attracting monsters of every shape and size. Oh, gods. I couldn't even leave the house, let alone go about my business. So, yeah, I'm not exactly a huge fan of magical research. If you absolutely must experiment, think about the trouble it could cause people around you. Cast responsibly. Anyway, I'm going to have a word with Gil and Avina. Last thing I need is more monsters ruining business. I'm about to make like a frog here. <laughs> All right. So, what's next? A mage's warning. That's a lot. <laughs> Roche told us about the harrowing exper experience he had with magic run amok. We'll relate the tale to Gil. Right. But yeah, that's definitely a, a cautionary tale to be wary of, especially in these parts. 
There you go. I did hear Roche's cautionary tale. It was pretty scary. Not scary enough to stop Ivina. Uh-oh. I'm sure she'll take it as a warning, though. I'll do any everything I can to convince Ivina she can only go so far and no further. Thank you for your help. And for that, he gives us 30,000 hey, guild points. You complete the errand. And with that, I think it would be wise to save the next one until next time. So yeah, completing that one should have unlocked where are we here? This one. Gotta go talk to Oct Octavia. So yeah, I guess we'll head up to the East Gate again, or wherever Octavia may have moved, if she has moved. And we'll see uh, what she has for us. Alright, so this is Intrepid83 signing off. Formerly known as Zerk1983, indeed. But again, this is not that series, so yeah. <laughs> This is Intrepid83 signing off. If you enjoyed the video, I ask you please consider hitting the like button on your way to help uh, support the series here and the channel. And I humbly thank you for that support as well. And uh, yeah, thank you for helping me get this content to those who might be interested in you know, seeing this game and what it has to offer. And I thank you for helping me get that to to them as well. And if you haven't if you haven't subscribed already, why not head on over to the channel see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription. But in any case, if you disliked the video, feel free to hit that dislike button. Maybe leave a comment suggesting how it can improve. I'm always looking for ways to improve my LP. And until next time, thank you for spending some of your time here. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.